Previously on KBC. Well, bottoms. Little flexible sheets like this. None of them work. They're just too thin. So I and a few people in the comments suggested doing a full width burn one of these and then trimming down from the edges. Another unsuccessful attempt. So, nuts. So I'm going to use the trusty finger sander and I'm going to flatten off the edge of these and smooth off and get rid of all the black on here as well so that we've just got the lines of the plywood in the same way that we've got the lines of the plywood in the neck so it'll kind of tie everything together it'll still look really nice So there we go, looks rather nice, that's okay, that's going to work fine I think. Uh, so before we try and fit that onto this through neck section, this bit does need to be a little bit wider to fit the, um, the bridge and the humbucker in there as well. So I'm just going to glue an extra chunk of plywood to each side and then that should do it, we've got enough width from there. And with that, we have a fat bit. Okie dokes, so I've clamped this in place where I want the body to go. Okay, which means I can now cut that end off the through neck section to fit onto there. And what I'm going to do here is actually cut down this section and then cut into the through neck to recess this half of the body. And then do a similar thing here. So cut maybe. So maybe cut 5mm into the neck on this piece so that it goes into the neck there. Well, I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll see. Tell you what, it's a good job cutting into this isn't really, really scary. Oh wait, yeah it is. <laughs> Just to keep this a trifle more secure. Just a strip of wood across the two. Just to stabilise that a little bit. Because we do not want this to snap now, do we? Now I'm pretty sure some of you at this point are panicking thinking you have just cut a great big chunk out of that neck section and it looks really horrible. Don't worry, we've got a plan. So where that sits in there all nice and flush is lower down than this neck section, yes? Yes. And remember that the top is going to try and bend slightly using this flexi wood material. That is too tight a bend to go from that height to that height so we're going to add a couple of layers on just this first corner here on both sides to slope it down from this height down to this height and then that will run flat all the way along there and if that doesn't make sense just keep watching
See, guitar shipped. And now to glue it all on. What do we think to that? Now, if this flexi front and back thing don't work, well, at least we know we can make a really cool silent guitar. Come back next week to find out what happens. Because at the minute, I don't even know. <laughs>